I'm just tired of working so hard, being gracious at what I do, getting paid a fraction of the cost. Once again, I got the Oscar, I got the Emmy, I got the two Tonys, I've done Broadway, I've done off-Broadway, I've done TV, I've done film, I've done all of it. I have a career that's probably comparable to Meryl Streep, Julianne Moore, let's Sigourney Weaver, they all came out of Yale, they came out of Juilliard, they came out of NYU, they had the same path as me, and yet I am nowhere near them. Not as far as money, not as, as far as job opportunities, nowhere close to it. Hold on to your hats, folks, cuz Hollywood just cranked the draw meter up a notch to Raji. Just let loose calling out Oprah for supposedly trying to mess with her career after she spilled the beans about getting the short end of the stick in the color purple. And you know, 50 Cent, well, he's back on. The Oprah beef trained to Raji spilled the tea that she wasn't getting the paycheck she earned. And when she spoke up, Oprah tried to, to shut her down. Now 50 Cent's got some feelings about Oprah's moves, and it's adding more fuel to the fire. Has Oprah, the real Oprah, ever listened to you? No, she, no. Once, once, once or twice she's listened to me. And she says, okay, we agree not to agree on those topics. Yeah, because you had a little, you had a little feud, well, a long-standing feud, right? For yeah, a while yeah. in the whole hip-hop culture and stuff. And, you know, it was like, I, I see her show and every time she made mention of what she felt like was wrong with hip-hop culture, it was something that was on my album that was the largest debut in hip-hop album. And because it's a platform that, you know, you would see, the A-lister. I didn't want my audience to misinterpret me like I wasn't an A-lister or wasn't worthy of being there with uh, because of the content. Speaking of Hollywood showdowns, did you hear about the tag team that might just rock the showbiz world 50 Cent? And Denzel Washington are teaming up and word? On the street, is there ready to spill some truths about how Oprah handles black actors? Now that's a combo we didn't see coming, now get. Ready for some Hollywood tea because things just got seriously interesting. Taji just laid it all out, even admitting she thought about ditching acting altogether. I mean, can you blame her dealing with those big shots and their money games in Tinseltown can drive anyone up the wall. And just when the internet exploded with these bombshell allegations, Oprah does a 180 and dropped this lovey-dovey message about their great relationship hold up, though Taraji ain't buying it. She's straight up calling Oprah out saying it's all a bunch of lies to save face and dodge a color purple boycott Hollywood drama at its finest folks stick around because this showdown is just warming up and you know we'll be here with the popcorn to spill all the juicy D so Tara G versus Oprah total showdown alert it kicked off a few weeks back when Tara G spilled the tea during her press tour for the color purple she straight up said she hadn't seen a ray since proud Mary which dropped six years ago talk about some serious Paycheck deja vu. But that's not all Taraji didn't stop there. She hit up Gail King's show for another round of truth bombs in the interview Taraji vented about being tired of justifying her worth to producers but. Here's the kicker Gail who's basically Oprah's BFF was all about downplaying Taraji's words and making light of, of the situation. It's like she couldn't handle her beastie getting called out on her own show. If Oprah was watching this, what would you tell her? I would say Oprah went free. You know what you need to do and stop hiding behind what you call was negative comments, what you call, oh, I don't even deal with things like that because what people are beginning to do is see you for who you are. And here we go again, folks, another round of Hollywood's not so secret shame underpaying black actresses. And guess what? It's not a one time thing. It's like a broken record playing on repeat Taraji's spill on being undervalued just tip of the iceberg. It's a sad reality check that hits harder than a. Monday morning and who's in the spotlight for this mess? Yep, you guessed it, Oprah, the queen of the industry rolling in billions. Yet here we are talking about actresses getting shortchanged, remember Viola? A Davis, yeah, the powerhouse compared to Meryl Streep, even she had to drop truth bombs a few years back despite all her awards and a claim she spilled the beans on barely making ends meet. Imagine that one of the highest paid black actresses feeling shortchanged. It's like a messed up game where Qualifications take a back seat, and the paycheck is a wild roller coaster. So here's the harsh reality check as long as big shots like Oprah keep raking in the dough and not threading the love while keep. Hearing these stories, but wait, there's more drama on the horizon. 50 Cent and Denzel Washington are teaming up, and the buzz is they're about to expose Oprah's handling of black actors. Hollywood's in for a wild ride, 
and were grabbing our front row seats in just when you thought the Hollywood. Roller coaster couldn't get crazier. Here's a flashback to 50 Cent's old beef with Oprah 50 Cent accused her of targeting black men in discussions on sexual assault allegation. It's a tangled web of accusation. Interviews and social media drama revealing the complex dynamics and unresolved issues haunting the quarters of fame. Every time she made a mention to hip hop culture, it was something that was wrong with it. And it was something that was on my CD that was the largest debut in hip hop out. You, you're looking at it and you're saying that everything that's wrong with our culture is why I'm a success. Wow. So when I actually got a chance to talk to her, she was like, I never thought about it like that. All right. Let us spill the, the tea on 50 Cent in Oprah's little showdown. So before 50 Cent hit the big leagues, he tried to score an interview with Oprah. But she shut him down that didn't sit well with 50 who thought if we can't be friends, let's be enemies he even threw shade at her. Audience and went all out by naming his dog after Oprah just to mess with her fast forward to their eventual interview Oprah being Oprah brought up the dog naming stunt. It started a bit awkward but Oprah being the cook. L Lady took it as a compliment they cracked a few jokes and 50 Cent even declared his love for Oprah. It turned into laughs and good vibes, but wait, Oprah the boss interviewer got down to real talk. She asked why you name your dog Oprah, turns out it was a stunt fueled by some negative feelings at. The time 50 UI explained he thought naming a small dog after Oprah would be a bigger deal. The dog, a miniature SCH snower named Oprah Oprah, always curious asked if 50 Y has greater affection for her now his rep. Response, absolutely so. What started as a feud ended with laughs and puppy love, but that was back in the day fast forward to the present now. When all this chaos was unfolding, 50 Cent jumped right into the mix. He reposted an article on IG declaring he's ready to team up with Tara G in his caption. He basically said they messed up and he's ready to work classic 50 move in the midst of this ludicrous also took a swing at Oprah. When he went on her show to promote the movie crash, Oprah veered off topic. Pushing him about using the N-word in his music ludicrous wasn't having it so he called her out in a radio interview. And if that wasn't chaotic enough, Oprah edited ludicrous responses to make him look like a fool now throw in Dave Chappell, who hit Oprah's show after turning down a $50 million. Dollars deal with Comedy Central Dave spilled the beans of about the shady side of the deal. But Oprah in classic form kept interrupting him trying to force him to admit to some form of mental illness. Where the... I wear the dress. I don't want to wear the dress. I want to wear this dress. You know what I mean? This is, oh, gosh, this guy's so difficult. They leave. Now the producers comes. Come on, David, would be so great. I mean, and then I started thinking about it. All the comics that I've seen, man, you know, strong brothers, why, why are they putting us in these dresses? The whole time, they're trying to convince me I'm insane. They were trying to get me to take psychotic medication. Yeah. Like I'm sitting around, you know, I was stressed out. But the people that were telling me I was insane, I believe that they knew what was going on. So uh, this was troublesome. Yeah. I said, I'm not taking this medicine, man, because I know these people be trying to control you. Or, or maybe discredit you. I was afraid, like, you but know. But you were stressed out. That's why. There's no question. question. But. It's very stressful for someone to constantly walk behind you and say, you're insane. Clearly, O has a history of putting black actors in awkward spots, and 50 Cent has had enough of watching it all unfold. Taraji isn't the only black actress he's had to defend against Oprah's antics. It's a Hollywood saga that keeps on giving, so Monique spills all the industry dirt, and guess who? Unexpectedly has her back none other than 50 Cent the man goes on IG throws up a pic of Monique and shouts, let's get Monique back on top folks, no more playing around during Super Bowl weekend 50 Cent. Atches her stand-up show gets hooked and insists everyone should check her out then in another post he straight up demands apologies from Tyler and Oprah, claiming he's about to catapult her back to the top. Now you know 50 Cent ain't one to spin tall tales true to his word. He puts his business muscle behind Monique, giving her a raw in season two of his hit show BMF. But when it comes to Oprah 50's never been a fan, he sees her moves as a way to throw shade at black actors and fill her pockets by talking. 
And from them, word on the street is Oprah only coughed up one 500k for Taraji in the color purple, which sounds like a joke considering how huge the movie became fans are buzzing some backing 50s claims and others wondering if Oprah's playing puppet master in the industry out to bring. Down black entertainers now as Monique airs out the industry's dirty laundry getting an unexpected nod from 50 Cent the drama doesn't end at there enter Denzel Washington another heavyweight in the game and his candid take. On Oprah's dealing, it's like Hollywood has become a battlefield with stars like Monique and 50 Cent challenging the status quo, and Denzel adding his two cents to the mix the buzz around Oprah's practices doesn't seem to fade and as we navigate this tangled web of controversies, it's clear that the challenges black entertainers face in the industry are gaining more attention than ever. Let's dive into Denzel Washington's perspective and see how it weaves into this ongoing narrative all right let S break down Denzel's vibe, the dude who totally killed it in Roman J. Israel-esque back in 2017 got all about how his Christian faith and his acting hustle come together. It's not just some chill belief for him. It's about getting off your butt and making things happen. He's all about each person having their own special gifts and feeling like it's everyone's job to use those gifts to spread good vibes in the world.